Bye, guys. Um, what can I review? Okay, I'm going to be reviewing um, a couple of beers that I picked up from my supermarket, which I've never seen before. So, I thought I'd give them a go. Um, the first one is from a brewery I'm pretty familiar with. I've tried quite a few of their beers. But they seem to have a new range out of about four or five different sort of beers in the old uh, smaller bottles. So, And this is their dry hopped lager from Adnams. Uh, I don't think the light's very great in here. It is the daytime, but... I still don't think it's very good. Um, well, we'll see what it looks like when I upload it. Let's give you a bit of info. It just says, uh, dry hop lager, authentic lager, always best served chilled. Um, Adnam's Jack Brand beers pay homage to the generations of brewers that have come before us. With a firm nod to our history, we've added an exciting slurp of the modern, made with Pilsner malt and dry hopped with Galaxy from Oz. Okay, so this comes in at... Probably about four percent, I'd reckon. Four point two. So let's get it cracked. The one thing um, that does annoy me about these craft lagers is a lager is a beer that's something that you session. You know that you really sort of knock back. You'll have about five or six. Um, so you'd expect it to come in like a five hundred ml bottle, like the old hobgoblin sort of stuff. But they put them in these poncy little bottles. Yeah, I know it's craft and it's hoppy and you know it's an acquired taste and. You know, something new, but you know, you know what I mean? It's a bit hipster, isn't it? These little bottles. Just put it in a fucking 500ml bottle and stop pissing about. Um, right, let's get it poured. So, I'm not expecting any bottle conditioning on this. It's just going to be like a good lager. A lot of um, Adnam stuff isn't bottle conditioned anyway. They're made for supermarkets, which is really good because they do make some really nice beers. And it's nice to see some decent beers in a supermarket. So there you go. I've got it in my little high uh, highball glass. It's a nice uh, pale golden colour, tiny little white head. Let's give it a nose. Hmm, that's quite a nice nose actually. Um, you're getting that sort of pills and all coming through a quite sort of white sort of almost like a sourdough white bread sort of smell. And then you're getting a nice um, fruitiness, which is very light but very sort of um, pleasant smelling. It's nothing sort of overpoweringly hoppy like a pale ale or, or an IPA. It's almost just like a, um, like a breeze of uh, of smell, if that makes any sense. You know, it's just you know just wafts past. It's nice and clean. And there you're getting like a bit. You get a bit of grapefruit, a bit of orange. Yeah, definitely orange. And even like a little bit of kiwi and stuff like that. So it smells really, really nice. So let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. That's really nice. Mmm, that is really good. <clears throat> yeah, that's really, really good. The only one I can really compare this to is um, the Shehalian uh, craft lager from Harveston because that's the only real ones I can remember. Uh, Frontier from uh, Fuller's, that's gone out of my memory because it just wasn't that good a craft lager. Um, but this is how I think the craft lager should taste. It's nice and zingy, you get nice um, bubbles on your tongue. You know, a, a lager should be instantly sort of quenching your, you know. And you, when you get that grip on your tongue, it's almost like that sort of contributes to quenching your first. Um, but you're also getting that lovely cleanness of the beer. Um, nice orange and grapefruit notes, like I said before, but they're very, very mild. They're just like, you know, just tickling your tongue. But mainly you're just getting a really nice ale. Um, it's really, just really, really good to drink. Um, there's no big aftertaste either. Mm, that is really good. Like I said, the only downside is in the tiny little bottle. But, yeah, that is a winner. That really, really is. This is the sort of beer that you could give to someone who's not into craft beer or has never heard of it. You know these sort of steadfast Fosters fans who are like, oh no, that's all I'm drinking, I only like Fosters. Go to a barbecue, something like that. Give them a cold bottle of that, and I'll tell you what, you'll convert them, seriously. That's going to get a 9 out of 10. I would have given that a 10 if it was in a bigger bottle, but 9 out of 10. That is really, really nice. I'm well happy with that. So if you're out in, um, I've got this one from Morrison's, so if you see it in Morrison's, grab it.
it's really really worth it thank you very much and i'll see you again soon for a rock and review cheers